Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today we have an update for part 4 of our tomato series and things are off to a really good start. You could see that over here starting all the way on the left, the cherry tomato plant is looking really large and as well as the blue green Wagner over here. And even the black Vernissage is, is looking a lot better now. Now let's start with the cherry tomato since it's, it's just the first one here on, on to my left. And you can see that the plant over here is looking quite nice as well as the flowers have finally bloomed guys or started to actually to grow i mean i should say not not bloomed but you could see that there's large flowers there's small flowers um there's a bunch of suckers that are growing all in between here and there i've i already took one sucker off just to try um take a nice little clone of this plant and that seems to be doing really well and the black vernissage also you could see just from the last episode what a huge improvement guys i mean it's like day and night look at this thing this plant has just been putting in work it's growing flowers for me right over here you can see and even the base was like the most like stressful part about it you've seen like how limp this, this tomato plant was now it's standing nice and strong it's really the the look at this guys it's just unbelievable like how how, how fast this thing like stood up on its own and you could see when i moved the rock wool cube over here i mean the clay pebble just how thick the base is, is starting to get strong guys real strong and you could see that it basically has like it even looks like it has freaking like little abs right over there tomato abs <laughs> your tomatoes have, have abs and uh yeah <laughs> sorry and you could see over here guys <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it's doing all right, guys. You can see that um, the plants overall are, are doing pretty well. They're all they all seem to be basically flowering at the same time. The blue green Wagner is the <clears throat> the one that's doing the worst actually right over here. You could see when I like move around, it is still suffering quite a bit. Like the leaves over here are not looking like too good. As well as um, as well as it doesn't just it doesn't even have like that much like foliage honestly so for it to even have like flowers at this point is just ridiculous because what is it gonna grow um so basically honestly like all these plants i think like they're all pretty small right now so i think it's a good idea to just remove all the flowers as is and that just is basically gonna pump all the energy right back into the plants and it's gonna concentrate back on vegetative growth instead of flowering and you could see also usually where there's one set of flowers there's generally like another set even if it is really small so try to pick those off um you could let it grow a little bit bigger that's fine if, if that's easier for you you don't want to damage the plant either way is going to be fine guys the earlier you get it the better as well and you could see over here basically a couple days later like almost a week later the, the leaves are beginning to curl um i believe this is due to like the the weather that's going around the temperatures are getting a little bit hot and at the same time the humidity is nice and low so that's not really like the best combination you could even see right over here i believe we're having like a little bit of like quarantine uh chlorine deficiency going on and blue green wagner honestly i don't know what's going on with this plant it's been suffering since like day one it's just probably a bad seed guys most likely it's probably a good idea for me to plant a new seed but look, look at how far it is guys it's already like flowering at this point i don't want to have to restart um I'm debating maybe just clipping the plant right over there at the base where it kind of like starts to bend and mess up and just planting it in a new rockwell cube kind of that'll start off a, it kind of pushed me back a little bit but not all the way to the point of starting from seed so i'll see i might even i might do that i'll show you I'll, if i do i'll definitely record a video guys and i'll show you the, the entire process of me doing that this way you guys could just like follow along in case you know you have something similar that's going on it's a nice easy solution to the uh, to the problem um, it's not as good as the, the, the black vernissage for some reason. That plant is just doing amazing, as you guys seen, it's just standing on its own. And it's a good idea to pick off all these uh, damaged flowers, I mean flowers, flowers as well, but the damaged leaves that are growing up right now. So overall the blue green wagner looks pretty good guys. I'm still going to remove the flowers off this plant as well as all, off the other ones like you seen me do earlier. Um, I think that's going to really help the plants in the, in the long run. Instead of uh, it producing these uh, sm small cherry tomatoes right over here, I'm going to pick, pick this off and hopefully get a bigger yield a little bit later with larger fruit. 
as well as a bigger, stronger plant. So overall, it's kind of going to be a, a, a big benefit for me. And I could see that there's miniature flowers right in between over here, so I'm going to try to do my best to like pick those off without damaging too many leaves. And you could see if you just kind of like, if you could really feel it, once you feel it in your hand, you just kind of push it one way and you can see right over here, I pinched it right off. And I'll show you guys just so you could see. Let me see if I could zoom it in a little bit. And there you go, you can see a bunch of super miniature, really tiny flowers compared to the bigger ones right over here. So now instead of the plant wasting energy and developing those flowers into larger flowers, it's gonna have, be forced to pump the energy right back into new growth and basically existing growth that's over there. And let's take a look at the root system, that's always interesting. The roots, excuse me, the roots look really nice I think right over here. Um, they're growing quite a bit. And it's like really tight for some reason, it's instead of like spreading out, it's just growing in like one long strand. And you could see that the the stem is basically standing on its own at this point. It's not being supported by the clay pebbles anymore. And it's definitely due to the fact that I have the circulation of, of the fan going. And that, that helps it speed it up, um, the strength of it as well. So you could see even like the black renaissance was suffering at the same point as the blue green Wagner. They looked exactly the same. But this one is just pumping guys. Look at how strong and vigorous this plant is looking. And the leaves look really healthy, it looks really strong. I clipped this plant, or, um, those flowers off already, so I just wanna make sure, look in between, make sure there's no new flowers that are, that are growing, or in case maybe you missed like one or two by mistake. So everything seems to be pretty good. I do notice some of these leaves are kinda turning in different directions. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, it's probably the same conditions, you know, high heat, low humidity. So what I'm thinking about is, I have an extra humidifier that's just like laying around my house. Um, that I'm not using so I'm thinking about maybe just throwing that into the grow system over here I'm not sure how that's gonna affect with the other plants that's growing around the area But we'll see I'll give it a chance. We'll, we'll test it out and see how it goes And you want to be careful not to damage the plant when you're lifting it up And you can see the root system looks pretty good guys. It is looking a little bit brown. So there might be possibly um somewhere around this um <clears throat> Excuse me, somewhere around this jar there might be like some type of like exposure where the light is penetrating through for some reason. So I'm just going to double check, make sure the foil is wrapped around properly. And you can see this plant, The this is the cherry tomato plant right over here. Um, with the leaf curl happening as well as the that chlorine deficiency, it, it's looking a little bit, a little sad at the moment. But overall guys, it looks pretty good. It's a really big plant. This thing is just like... A super producer as the as the episodes go on you're gonna see just how fast this plant pumps out and you can see the root system looks really healthy really large so I'm pretty sure it's time to upgrade the containers that are being used these are quart sized mason jars so I'm probably gonna go up to maybe like a half gallon or maybe even a gallon is probably best honestly um, the thing is once the larger jars that you do increase there it's gonna increase the size of your entire space so we'll see, I may drop these down to the lower level. I gotta double check um, with the cucumber plant and see if it's okay with, with him. But <laughs> overall, it looks pretty good, guys. As always, if you like the episode, please hit that thumbs up. Let me show you real quick, this is the mini bell transplant that we took earlier. You could see, if you've seen that episode, you know what I'm talking about. Look at this root system, is pumping down, down here, guys. Things are doing well. To combat everything that's going wrong right now, I mixed a new solution. This is basically a new batch of Master Blend, Calcium Nitrate, Epsom Salt. That's the ratio that I used if you want to pause the channel right there. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon for more.